This episode is proudly brought to you by our partners, the Caravan Industry Association of Victoria. For help planning your next holiday, log on to gomakesomememories.com.au. Well, in the cold light of the morning, we braved the wet and wintry conditions, booked up the John O's, the Mars and the Goldstream campers and departed bright for our final destination of the trip. As the fog rolled over the hills, we made the quick trek down to Beechworth, which took us just under an hour. And although the roads were a little slippery, the campers handled them with no dramas at all. Home to over 2,000 residents and the once temporary home to the most famous outlaw of them all, Beechworth was put on the map during the Victorian Gold Rush era. The wealth of the town during that time has been kept in picture-perfect condition and it's a must-see for any Australian traveller when visiting the region. During our time in Beechworth, we decided to stay at the Lake Samble Caravan Park where I caught up with Mick to have a quick chat. Mick, pretty cool park to drive into. It sort of felt like I was driving through the middle of a park in town somewhere. Yeah, it's one of them little places where we get grey nomads, we get uh, the kids and families up here, they go up on the hill, tents and have their campfires, roasting marshmallows. Yeah, very close to town, 15 minute walk into town. Bit of history around Beechworth, what is there for people to explore? Well, they do the historical walk around town, a guided tour. A couple of the pubs had Ned Kelly back in the day when they when he got out of jail and had a bit of a fight out the back of one pub. And really? Yeah, so... We might reenact that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of accommodation options here in Beechworth. Why would someone choose to stay here rather than any of the others, mate? Oh, we offer something a lot different. We caravanners come in, they have a problem, we get out and we help them. Our cabins are spotless, our cleaners do a wonderful job, we're too happy to help anyone. We've had to do welding jobs on caravans, we've had to fix up gas lines, hot water cylinders, yeah, we just go that extra mile for our guests. Yeah, excellent. And it's an awesome environment, so I'm chasing a little bit of local knowledge. Where can I go and wet my whistle, mate? Well, I reckon you should try Bridge Road Brewery. Um, the guys there, they brew their own beer. Why would I knock back a bit of local knowledge like that? I'll catch up with you shortly. <laughs>